Hi, my name is Emma Allen. I worked in Dr. Asper's research lab this summer, along with Zay and Fatma. And we looked at the localization of NOCO proteins in the rat superoptic nucleus. So in his PhD research, Dr. Asfig looked at the recovery rates of 35-day-old rats versus 125-day-old rats um, after unilateral lesion in the SON. So he would go into the superoptic nucleus and cut one side of it. And he found that there was significantly more axonal sprouting in the 35-day-old rat versus the 125-day-old rat to compensate for that lesion. So what we kind of honed in on this summer was the NOGO protein. So NOGO stands for neuron outgrowth inhibitor. And we expected there to be significantly more NOGO in the 125 day old rat because that axonal sprouting is not occurring rather than 35 day old rat. Um, the opposite was found and there was significantly more NOGO in the 35 day old rat versus the 125 day old rat. Um, and we used beta actin as a loading control so that we knew it wasn't a loading error. So one way we are trying to characterize no-go is with dual fluorescent staining. So we would take an antibody and stain the no-go protein, and then we would stain the neuron or the astrocyte the opposite color, and then overlay the two pictures and see where that co-localization occurs, which would be the yellow. And we're able to quantify that and find that there is significantly more no-go A in the neuron rather than the astrocyte. Um, we did the same thing with NOGO AB and found the same thing that it's significantly more in the neuron. And then same thing with NOGO R. You can see a lot of that yellow there um, and found significantly more NOGO R in the neuron rather than in the astrocyte. So that kind of helps us identify if it's in a neuron or astrocyte. We also did um, Western blots of NOGO AB and NOGO R, and those just need to be analyzed. And because this project is kind of wrapping up, we are beginning to write and publish our results. Um, so that was our research and thank you for listening.